Taurus, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Taurus, I am here to do your mid-month um, for March. Ooh, looks like you may have a lover spat or a little fight with somebody. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, feeling really burdened. You're just done. You're done carrying the burden for everybody. Um... Taurus, this may or may not resonate with you, okay? So just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Um, and uh, don't try to force it into your world, right? And thank you, Taurus, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. Looking at how I'm holding the cards, I feel like there's a masculine energy that's watching you from a distance, but not talking to you. Um, I feel like you're going to maybe have it out with somebody here because it feels like, okay, in the upright, you can't get any rest. You're, you're, you're shouldering the load or, or running errands for other people. Um, could be at any time, right? Uh, you could be just getting out of the shower and laying down to take a nap or something. And, and you get a phone call. Hey, can you do this? Can you do that for me, right? This is in reverse. I think you've had enough. You're, you're telling people to get out of your face. Get out of my face in March, right? Um, you may need some rest. There's somebody watching you too, but they're kind of hiding. Um, what else can you show me for Taurus in March? So yeah, you could be just telling people, you know what? Do your own stuff. Get out of my face. <laughs> right? Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of sad people kind of, you know what I'm sort of sensing is um, people sort of lined up right lined up kind of hiding their sadness but they're they're crying a, a flood of tears here together um this could be a big group of friends or um i don't know whoever you're isolating yourselves from okay i don't really feel like you're isolating i just feel like you've cut off you may be cutting off a bunch of people here just because You've had enough of shouldering the weight of everybody. Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. And you're just going solo. I feel like that's your energy. Going solo. This is like having strength, though, too. This is strength. And when people may have underestimated you, um, they're not anymore. Okay? They're not anymore. All right, what else can you show me? I feel like these people that you're pushing away may feel like they can't, they don't know how to do something or they don't know how to do this stuff or how. How are they going to, they're feeling very frustrated. It's weird. I don't know what that is, but it looks like her thumb is bent backwards. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's um, these people are frustrated and maybe scared or worried or upset. Uh, multiple people, different energies, right? But it's all because they don't know how to do it or they don't know how to do it the way you do it or they don't know what they're doing, something like that. They're having to learn how to do it themselves. Is what I'm seeing they're having to learn how to do it themselves and they're not happy about that they're like can't you help me with the learning part and you're like no I've had my bathrobe on for days can't you see that I want to take a nap I'm going it alone yeah all right what else can you show me here for Taurus and then we'll break into the the tarot guys for March but yeah, I feel like you're um, stopping people from having you do everything for them. Does that make sense? All right, what else? And you're telling them to learn how to do it themselves. <laughs> okay, Taurus, but that's, that's good. You're standing your ground. I just saw you standing your ground in here. 
there anything else? Should I jump to tarot, Divine? Yeah, I think I should jump to tarot. All right. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Divine, show me Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus in the month of March? Divine Spirit Guides. What messages do you have for Taurus in the month of March? I just keep hearing, I've had enough. I've had enough. Like, you're exhausted. I feel like you're just exhausted. And, you know, you've been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Yeah, this could be you at work, too. We're just working really hard, putting in the extra work. And I feel like you, you've been doing much of the work, not just yours, but for others as well. And I feel like now you're just kind of, there's a stillness now, all of a sudden. Like it goes from working, 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 to sitting, and just being perfectly still. Yeah. I feel like, and look, if you notice, it's just kind of what I said. These people come with a to-do list. Other people come up to, can you do this for us? Can you do that for us? Do you know how to do this? Can you show us this? Can you do that? And, I mean, it, it, this may be at work, but I just feel like it's in life in general, you know? Um, and now you're just kind of sitting down on it. You're like, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to show you anything. I'm, not, I'm just going to keep to myself here. You're not speaking. The high priestess is silent. And I feel like that's kind of what they're hearing, you know. And um, they're having to learn how to do these things on their own. I, this could be friends, family members, um, co-workers, Anyone around you that, you know, you that has access to you, right? Yeah, it could be multiple people, friends. They may even start gossiping a little bit, like, what's going on with Taurus? Jeez, you know, Taurus is being awfully quiet. They're not up and moving for us anymore. Yeah, well, Taurus is taking a bit of a break here. That's really what I'm feeling like. Taurus is taking a break. I feel like everybody just kind of lines up for you to do stuff for them or help them or whatever. And Taurus is just tired. Taurus is like, <laughs> I'm sitting on the Queen of Pentacles throne. Look at how tired you look here. I'm telling you, you know the Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah, and Empress energy here. You go from this to this. I've had enough. The Queen of Pentacles, I, I always say, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is very loving, right? She's She is loving. She is kind. But she's not the most loving queen in the deck because she doesn't have time. She's running her butt off. She's holding everything together like a pair of bookends just for her. Feeling responsible for everything because she is responsible for everything, for everyone in her family, okay? Um, she has to be grounded. She has to be stable. She has to think logically to, to maneuver her way through the daily everything, through the daily grind, the everything, the home, work, family, kids, business, everything. Okay, and look at how tired you, like, even your hand is dropping kind of off of that pentacle. Like, oh, you know, I'm so exhausted, right? And then all of a sudden you perk up. Now, wait a minute. Look at you sitting straight now. Do you see? You're slumped over and tired in this picture because of all the responsibilities. Okay, because you're very, very busy. And now, all of a sudden, you're sitting up straight, right? Now, wait a minute. I'm taking a break. Yeah, and I'm sitting up straight in my... I'm the empress here. If you guys need me so much, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the shots. I, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting, and it tosses these people right out. Um, like, you're not tossing them out, but it's like... the. Um, 
how do I say it? It smashes the tower for them. Okay, it's bringing down their tower because they're having to learn this stuff on their own now. You're now you bump from the Queen of Pentacles, responsible for pretty much everything, to the Empress. Um, knowing your responsibilities and having the ability to balance everything out and keep it there. Okay? Um, stability, major stability. Um, th these people could need you for money or just to keep them stable, something like that. Um, you know, on a side note, all of a sudden your person creeps in. I got to say, I'm going to be honest. You're, this is your person here. This is your person's energy. <laughs> um, you're, now your person just kind of took over your reading, Taurus. I'm so sorry, but I got to go with it. Um, there's a person here that is in a lot of regret, okay? A lot of regret. And they see the same kind of stability in you. They see the same strength, the same, all the things it takes to be a Queen of Pentacles. Dedication, commitment, strength boundaries, um, balance, being grounded, um, being able to hold everything together like a pair of bookends, being able to handle the busyness of your life and smelling like roses and still having that loving nature, okay? Um, they see you as all of that. And there's someone out here in a lot of regret that just jumped into your reading. Oh my gosh, I missed out on somebody that I want to really truly commit to. That's what this person is saying. They're in regret because they missed out here. You meet all the criteria that they would want and um, admire in some you know in somebody in a in a partner. I feel like this this is somebody who can totally see now that you're the one that they should have been with, should have built with. And um, you're out here on your own. Yeah, and they're in regret because they turn their back on, on your love connection, this Two of Cups, for a third-party situation that didn't have any love there. I feel like this is a person from your past who had a chance at a blessing in love, a brand new beginning with you, and they tossed it. It's like it just got started and they tossed it aside for something else, and now they're in regret. They're looking back on this with you and what they could have had. Yep, you're their Six of Cups. And they're thinking and thinking and can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Basically, they can't stop thinking about you. You know, a time when, like I said, they, they had this chance. This right here, this one little cup with the water that was that blessing. They had you right there. And they could have had, yep, I've been hearing that song. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. Yeah, you had my heart and soul, but you played it. Yeah, this person played you. And they know they could have had it all. I've been hearing that song. I'm getting the chills. Um... Yeah, now they want to come forward, try to make this stable between you guys, okay? Um, but it's taken this person way too long to talk to you. I think they've been really, really afraid because they're wearing a full suit of armor here. This person's been moving so slow because they've been so afraid of confronting this and talking to you. Could be dealing with the Pisces, a Virgo, but this person now they're um, seeing things from a whole new light. Um, they may have been stuck in something, but they're seeing everything kind of clearly now from a whole new perspective. I feel like they realize, they realize it's taken them too long, and that's why they're in regret. Thank you, Divine. Yeah, for this new beginning, because having this new beginning with you would have been, would have led to this 10 of pentacles 
Yeah, they see it now. I feel like this person just keeps reviewing it in their mind. You know, it could have led to this. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. You had my heart and soul, but you played it. Yeah, they played you. And they're in a lot of regret. Yeah. Um, Rolling in the Deep by, um, oh, God, what is her name? <laughs> oh. oh, please. What is her name? Um, shoot. Anyway, yeah, they could have had it all, but they chose the devil instead and walked away from you. They walked away from, from you. I feel like they played you. Um, yeah, and this person, they went and got stuck with the devil. They made their decision. And you stood in your strength. You stood in your integrity, right, Taurus? You were like, well, if that's what you're going to choose, then, you know, you have, um, you always do have a ton of self-respect, right? A lot of integrity. A lot, like you're filled with integrity, right from head to toe and uh, you, when this person chose something toxic over you and walked away from you you didn't fight it you let this person go because you know what you're worth and you stood in your integrity they're seeing this about you here they're seeing it and they're in so much regret um, yeah wanting to change this around could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio is out here. I feel like this is your energy here with strength, but you could be dealing with the Leo as well. Heavy on the Virgo so far. But yeah, now they want to change things around, okay? I feel like they're wishing they hadn't done that, you know? They could have had it all. Yeah, this is their mistake. They could have had it all. They're wishing they wouldn't have done, have ever walked away from you. Um, wishing they could just turn back the hands of time here. Because, man, they could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. I feel like this person is, yeah, look, heavy on the Virgo, guys. This person is feeling, they're rolling in the deep all right. Um, I feel like they're kind of going through a dark night of the soul thing. I'm feeling a lot of guilt, a lot of shame. Um, heavy, heavy looking back on what they could have had. Um, a lot of defeat, a lot of pain, a lot of going within to think. I'm really kind of picking up on a dark night of the soul kind of thing for you, Taurus, uh, for your person. That's what they're, that's what they're going through in March just realizing they could have had it all oh my gosh they could have had it all wow no wonder their energy crept in it's wow anyway taurus listen that's what i've got for your march mid-month I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. Um, you know, become a new Mooney, right? Join, join the Soul Tribe. Yes. And um, until next time, Taurus, take care of you and peace out.